Hi, my name is Taylor. Welcome to Taylor's Tracks Yoga. Today is yoga for inner confidence. So get ready for a fiery sequence. You need nothing but your beautiful self and your mat. I'll see you there. We'll begin today sitting at the tops of our mats. Feet about hip width distance apart, whatever feels comfortable. Bring all 10 of your toes up off the ground. And if you can, gently place each one down firmly into the mat. Then close your eyes, pull your belly button towards the back of your spine. Slightly curl your tailbone under. Allow your chest, your chest to shine forward as you inhale, reaching your shoulders towards your ears and rolling them back, palms shining forward. Have a slight micro bend in your knees so you can fully embrace your strength just in a simple tadasana. Rock gently forward and back, from side to side, beginning to notice where your balance is, beginning to trust yourself and knowing your edge, knowing that you'll always keep yourself up, and then come to self stillness. We'll set an intention for today's class. Perhaps it's as simple as I am confident or I am strong. Something along the lines of being yourself and feeling confident just as you are. And when you have an intention, take a deep inhale in through your nose. Fill in your belly and a big exhale out through your mouth. Standing in your power, flutter your eyes open. Bring your feet together so that your toes touch, heels slightly apart. Or maybe hip distance feels better for you for chair. Bend into your knees and sweep your fingertips along the ground as they reach forward and up as you sink your hips back. Continuing to pull your belly button in towards the back of your spine, feeling your spine elongate, making sure that your hips are pulled back enough that you can see your toes in front of your knees. Deep inhales a little bit taller, exhales just a little, little bit deeper. Inhale, feel your spine lengthen, your arms lengthen, you're tall, you're strong, exhale to hold. Inhale to lengthen one more. Exhale, this time clean up onto your toes as you allow your hands to float backwards. Ooh, using your core to keep you strong. Inhale, heels back to the ground as your arms move forward into your original position. Exhale, back up onto your toes, arms feet back. Last time, inhale into chair. Exhale, onto your toes. Inhale into chair. Exhale, hands come through heart center and forward fold. Getting fired up right away. Working straight into our confidence, having full faith that we can do what we need to, and knowing when to step back when we need to. Inhale, halfway lift, elongate your spine, crown of head shines forward. Exhale, forward fold. Plant your hands as you step your left foot back. Coming back or down onto your left knee. Inhale, your hands sweep forward and up, low bunch. Hips square towards the front of the mat. Your right hip moves back, your left forward. Inhale, feel yourself grow tall. Exhale, allow your hands to open up towards the right hand side of your mat. So your left reaches forward and your right back. Inhale as you still stand tall. Exhale as you allow yourself to move into the twist, never force anything. Trusting yourself. Inhale, hands come back to center, growing tall once more. Exhale, hands to the mat. Using your left foot to push off the mat, coming back into that forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. This time, stepping your right foot back, coming onto your right back knee. Inhale, hands sweep forward and up. Feeling tall, strong powerful, even with one knee on the ground. 
Inhale for length. Exhale to twist to the left this time. Never forcing, always knowing how far you can go and being confident with that decision. Inhale, arms back up to center. Exhale, hands towards the mat, pushing off your right back foot into the forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Plant your palms, this time stepping back into downward facing dog. Taking a second to get familiar in this pose for today. You may have been here a million times before, maybe even once already today. But it feels different every day. Just like your thoughts of your confidence may. It just takes a little bit of subtle adjusting each and every day. Inhale, sweep your right foot back up and towards the sky. Exhale, knee towards your nose. Plant your right foot onto the mat. Allow your left knee to come down as well. Inhale, arms forward and up, back into that low lunge. Inhale to grow tall. Exhale, lift your left back knee off the ground, growing even taller, adjusting if you need to be. Inhale, allow your shoulders to fall away from your ears. Exhale, open up to the right hand side, adding a little bit more of a challenge. If you want to stay on your knee, that's perfectly okay, know your limits for today. Inhale, hands come all the way back up to center. Exhale, opening up to warrior two. Your left back foot comes parallel with the back of the mat as you bend into your right front knee. Arms reach in opposite directions. Your tailbone moves towards the ground as the crown of your head moves upwards. Always tall, always strong. Deep inhale, exhale to settle. Inhale, straighten your right knee, and then reach your right fingertips down towards the mat as you allow your hips to swing left. Coming into triangle, fingertips may touch the ground, perhaps they're only halfway, just on your calf. Using your core that we've already fired up to keep you strong, so you open your chest up towards the sky. Last inhale, fully expand. Exhale, both hands come down to the mat as you bend into your front knee. Step back into plank. Inhale, rock your shoulders over your wrists. Bring your knees down to the mat. Untuck your toes. Allow yourself to slowly come all the way to the mat. Push into the tops of your feet. Engage your legs. Inhale to lengthen your spine, exhale, curl, baby cobra. Using the strength of your spine more so than your hands. Allow yourself to come all the way back down to the mat. Tuck your toes, push up through plank, downward facing dog. Two breaths here. Deep inhale, exhale to settle. Becoming familiar with this pose as we return to it. Inhale, sweep your left foot back up. Exhale, nose to knee, knee, knee to nose. <laughs> Placing your left foot on the mat, your right knee on the mat. Inhale, your arms forward and up. Then you will laugh at yourself is important, even with your confidence. <laughs> Inhale, to lengthen your arms and your spine. Core is engaged. Exhale, push off of your right back toes so your knee comes off the mat. Inhale, to lengthen, feel your strength. Here in high lunge, exhale, twist open to the left. Feeling yourself move a little bit deeper into each pose with each repetition. Inhale, hands back up. Exhale, opening up to warrior two on the left hand side. Noticing if it feels different on this side than the other. If it does, well, that's normal. Welcome to being human. Using that core still, even in this pose, not allowing your belly to flop, but pulling your belly button in, which allows you to grow tall. Deep inhale, exhale to settle. Inhale, straighten your left front leg. Allow your hips to move to the right, and then exhale. Allow your left hand 
or fingertips to come down to the mat, perhaps your calf. Right fingertips straight up to the sky, and your right shoulder falls away towards the back so that your chest can open. Your bum is still engaged so that you're as flat as possible, as straight as possible. Deep inhale. Exhale, hands come to the mat as you bend into your left front knee, stepping back into plank. Inhale, rocking your shoulders over your wrist, coming down to your knees, or perhaps a full push-up and all the way down to the mat. Inhale, this time full cobra. Take a moment to pause here and breathe. Wiggle your bum. Allow your bum cheeks to not be so tense. Deep inhale. Feel yourself grow tall. Exhale. Allow yourself to come all the way back down to the mat. Then you tuck your toes, pushing up through plank, back into downward facing dog. Deep inhale into your nose. Big exhale out to settle. We'll move through that sequence one more time. Part of building your inner confidence is doing the same thing over and over so you can get comfortable, so that the body can get used to it. And that's really all confidence is. It's an attitude and it's trying again and again. So inhale, allow your right foot to move up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. Plant your right foot, allow your knee to come down to the mat. Inhale, hands turn forward and up. Exhale, settle. Inhale, feel yourself grow tall. Exhale, knee comes off the mat. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale to open. Hold for the inhale, and exhale. You got this. Inhale, hands back up to center. Exhale, open to warrior two. Getting familiar with the flow. Deep inhale, feel yourself really grow strong and powerful here. Exhale, allow yourself to fully come into this variation. Inhale, straighten your front leg. Exhale, come into triangle. This time, noticing if you can adjust the little bits. Focusing on something that you didn't before. Helping you improve, helping you feel stronger. Reaching your left fingertips a little bit higher. Inhale, exhale, hands come to the mat. Stepping back into plank and taking the vinyasa chaturanga of your choice. moving in a way that feels good for you, that makes you feel confident with your practice today. Once in downward dog, inhale your left foot up and back, exhale, knee comes to nose, plant your left foot and allow your right knee to come to the mat. Inhale, hands fold and up. You're doing wonderfully. Inhale to grow tall. Exhale to bring your knee up off the mat. Inhale to lengthen once again. Exhale to twist to the left. Deep inhale. Hold for the exhale in your power. Inhale, arms back up to center. Exhale, open to warrior two. Feel yourself expand. Feel yourself take up space. Inhale, left leg straightens. Exhale, hips go to the right. And allow yourself to melt over your front leg. Chest open. Right fingertips reaching high towards the sky. Deep inhale. And hold for the exhale. Last inhale, exhale, hands come down to the mat, stepping back into plank, last one I promise, <laughs> and flowing through the vinyasa chaturanga option of your choice. If 
Heaving and downward dog, take three deep breaths as we begin to slow down our practice. Generously bend your knees as you look forward. Walk your feet up to meet your hands. However awkward that may be for you today, some days we're stiffer than others. <laughs> Inhale, bend your knees a lot and allow yourself to roll all the way up for bra by vertebra. Taking a moment to stand in mountain pose, coming back to where we started. Feeling your own heartbeat, a fire in your belly. Feeling your own strength. Inhale, rise your hands all the way up, allowing your body to fully expand. Look forward and then come up onto your toes as tall as you can be. Allow your shoulders to fall away from your ears. Feel your core engaged even more, holding you strong. Exhale, hands come to your heart center. Ooh, maybe you move a little bit. That's okay. And then begin bending your knees as you bring your bum towards your heels. The more you push your knees forward, the easier it is. Coming into toe stand. Take a deep inhale here, feeling your spine elongate even. Kalpas is all about standing tall, as I'm sure you've guessed so far. <laughs> deep inhale in. Exhale, allow your hands to expand forward, and then allow your bum to come to the mat. If you need to put your hands back, that's cool. My bum doesn't fully <laughs> reach the mat. If yours isn't either, that's okay. Rocking back. <laughs> so that you are leaning back. Extend your arms forward and bring the, your toes to the mat, heels off, or bring your toes completely off the mat so your calves are parallel with the mat, or extend your legs into a full variation of boat. Take whatever variation feels good for you today. Deep inhale to lengthen your spine. Once again, you know the cues now. Exhale to hold. Invite the shake, embrace it. It's always gonna show up in life on and off the mat. Last inhale, exhale, allow yourself to fully let go into the mat. One breath here, a quick Shavasana. Inhale your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big hug, you have done fabulously today, getting on the mat and practicing, which is what it's all about. Allow your knees to fall to the right, bringing your right hand on top of your, your left thigh, and extending your left arm out from your shoulder, allowing your gaze to fall to the left. Allowing your breath to return to normal. Allowing yourself some time to slow down after all that fiery energy that builds confidence. Extend your right arm out. Inhale, using your abs once more. Bring your knees into your chest and allowing them to fall to the left. Bringing your right hand your left hand onto the outside of your right thigh. Your gaze looks over to the left, to the right. See, even I mess up. <laughs> Mistakes shouldn't shake your confidence. They're just reminders that we're not always perfect. Because no one ever is.
Extend your left arm out again. Bring your knees back into your chest. Give yourself a hug, bringing your forehead as close to your knees as you can. Coming into the tightest ball that you can be. Deep inhale. Exhale, allow yourself to fully expand to take up as much space as you need right now to fully allow your body to let go after all that hard work. Allow your belly to be soft, your bum cheeks to let go, your fingers to curl, and your chest and upper back to melt into your mat. Take a deep inhale, fill in your belly, and a last big sigh out. You have done fabulously today. Just coming to the mat and working on yourself is already an act that you've done to build your inner confidence. To get yourself fired up, strong, to remind yourself that you are as tall and proud and confident as you want to be. And now it's time to just allow yourself to be as it is. When you're ready to return, gently wiggle your fingers and your toes, bring sparks of energy throughout your body. Bring your legs together and allow your arms to stretch tall over your head for the biggest stretch yet today. And let it go. Bring your knees into your chest. And allow yourself to fall to either side into a fetal position. Taking a breath here. Keeping your eyes closed, push yourself up into a seated position. Whatever feels comfortable for you today. Bring your hands to your chest into prayer. Bow your forehead so that your third eye meets your fingertips. Thank yourself for showing up on the mat today for this act of self-love for your mind, your body, and your soul. Allow your head to come back up. Bring your prayer hands to your third eye. The divine light in me honors the divine light in you. Together, we bow forward. Thank you so much for practicing with me today and sharing your energy. I hope you feel really fired up. I hope you feel confident. And if you don't, return to this practice over and over and over and just keep working on it. That's how you build your confidence with everything in life. I have a new video out every Thursday. So if you want more yoga for confidence and body image and self-esteem, I got you covered. Don't forget to subscribe below. I'll see you soon. Have a good one.